Hey everyone, John here with a pretty radical update on Platinum Games. As one of its founders, a most influential and well-known figureheads, Hideki Kamiya, is leaving the company. Platinum have just put out this notice here, let's read it together. We regret to announce that Hideki Kamiya will be leaving Platinum Games on October 12th, 2023. We are truly grateful for his creative ideas, leadership, and contribution to the growth of Platinum Games from our startup to this very day. We believe that he will continue to succeed in his future endeavors as a game creator. We are looking forward to seeing the game industry grow into a better place with him in it. We wish him all the best for the future. So this this is an interesting statement, and it's followed up by uh, Kamiya's own little statement, so let's just read through what he says too. As announced on the official Platinum Games X account, I'll be leaving Platinum Games on October 12th, 2023. This came after a lot of consideration based on my own beliefs, and was by no means an easy decision to make. However, I feel this outcome is for the best. I will continue to create in my Hideki Kamiya way. I hope you'll keep your eyes peeled. So, where did this come from? Uh, for those who don't know the legacy of this man, he has spearheaded some of the most influential and important games in this industry. We are talking the original Resident Evil 2, we're talking Devil May Cry, we're talking Okami, Bayonetta. He has a, a huge list of some of the best games of all time behind him. However, Platinum Games as a studio has gone in different directions lately. Kamiya has actually not directed a game since, I believe, The Wonderful 101. He's tried to. He tried to with Scalebound, which of course got cancelled, and he's also tried to with Project GG, his latest directed works. But we haven't heard of Project GG in quite a long time, and with Hideki Kamiya leaving the company, one has to speculate about if that game's even coming. So perhaps a core reason why Kamiya is leaving Platinum is because he just hasn't been able to make a creative work in a very long time. And are there other factors around that? Who's to say? We know Scalebound lies mostly on Microsoft cancelling it during the Don Matrick era, but even then, Kamiya hasn't really been able to put his, his face and his ideas into Platinum Games for a while. Bayonetta 2 and 3 weren't directed by Kamiya, and while he's involved in the story and some scenario works, he really just hasn't had you know his big involvement in a game for a long time, which is nuts when you have someone as prolific as Kamiya, who's done Resident Evil 2 and Devil May Cry and Okami, having that person on the on the field line just doesn't feel quite right. And you know, I don't know if it's just me, but I do kind of sense some bitterness in these statements. Uh, Platinum Games not so much, but they do say that they expect him to keep working in the industry. So clearly he's not retiring, he's just leaving the company to do his own thing again. And Kamiya himself says that, you know, this this is based on his own beliefs. It wasn't a an easy decision, but it's something that he did. And of course, Platinum haven't always had hit after hit, especially in recent years. You know, every now and then we get an Astral Chain and a Bayonetta, but we also get a Babylon's Fall. You know, we get, we get, they, they've said in the past that they're looking for games that sort of chase um, live service as, as, a, as a direction, which is very un-Platinum games in my mind. That, you know, Platinum games for me are like incredibly high action experiences, but they, they don't last long, and that's good, because I, I wouldn't want a Platinum games production to last more than seven to ten hours, honestly. I'm not sure they really have it in them. Because uh, as, as high action as they are, after a while, they do start to, you know, wane on that. So I think that their strength is in the short and sweet nature, not the longevity of live service. It just feels like a weird mismatch. And um, I am very interested to see where Cameo goes from here. And, and where Platinum goes from here, too. Because Platinum, of course, they can succeed without him. Bayonetta 2 is my favorite game in the series, and Cameo for that game was just uh, a story planner, I believe. He, he wasn't the director, he wasn't involved in the gameplay planning or anything else in that regard. He was a supervisor, sure, but I, I do think there's lots of uh, talented people at Platinum. So this this isn't the death of the studio, uh, but it will be very interesting to see what, why he goes. Will he start his own company? Um, people have speculated whether he's going to get uh, funding from Chinese studios, which seems very possible. But all we can do is speculate for now. Uh, I've gone all these years without being blocked by him, which is quite a privilege. I've done interviews with him in the past, and he always seems like a very different man to how he is on Twitter. You know, on Twitter, he comes across as this very, you know, aggressive, and it's, it's a character. But when you're an actual person with him, he's actually he's quite down-to-earth and nice, to be honest. So yeah, best of luck to both parties in the future. I'm sure Kamiya will have a great new studio with 
an incredibly unique IP, something that we don't really see in the, in the industry much, which honestly, Platinum Games haven't been doing as much. They've been resting on established IP, so I'd like to see them definitely go further out, and I'm sure Cameo will do that on his own. But thank you for watching, everybody. Let us know what you think about his departure from Platinum in the comments, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.